all right so welcome back those masters i hope you had your snack and ready for the next hour because for the next hour we have a lot of learnings and a lot of new takeaways from the session and there's a saying which was said by ken blanchard which was none of us is as smart as all of us now to get us there we have our distinguished toast master alex jacob with us alex jacob is an entrepreneur by profession and has association with many big companies as a business coach he has been at toastmaster since 2018 and has served as a president area director and is currently the division director and he is still exploring a lot about toastmasters so it is my honor to welcome toastmaster alex jacob to the stage all right thank you mc the first uh, question am i audible am i visible yes yes all yes. right yes. so thank you uh, all right uh, so a quick question what what was the word of the day used by all the speakers so far sustainable oh my god who said that spot on all right any other word of word of the day was used excellence excellence yeah we we've been using it for a while in toast masters right i'm sure sadish menon is extremely happy uh, with the word of the day i correctly identified sustainability i'm sure throughout for the next uh, 12 months you will be able to hear this word of the day probably we should be having that word of the day in all our club meetings uh, at least once in this next term so that we get the message all right uh, so those who are awake and uh, those who are still happily watching the proceedings i am so thankful uh, that you are still awake a quick activity i have been also following the few sessions uh, thanks gayatri and uh, thanks uh, kalyan and thanks ganga ma'am for adding so much of value and i particularly liked uh, the kalyan's uh, last slide uh, the about the quote the quote he shared of sense of belongingness i think it was wonderful probably you could share with your clubs as well all right a quick activity a very simple one uh you need to go move around i hope you are in the house or your home only move around and find an object which will relate to your toastmaster experience okay please ensure no taboo topics here okay move around move around please move around right some of you are still stuck move around take an object which probably would relate to your toastmaster experience Nadira is very happy. I'm not sure what she has got. Let's see. Uh, let we'll hear it from. And distinguished Toastmaster Rina is showing something, uh, something which I'm not able to understand. Probably all the mementos she got in the last so many years. All right. Uh, okay. So I am going to randomly pick uh, from each uh, division a few things. All right. Division A. Who would you like to? Who would you like to show something? And how do you relate to that a Toastmaster experience? Uh, ramya is happy uh, showing something but i am unable to hear remember we are here to improve our oral communication right so unmute yourself and speak yes so i'll just remove the virtual background from the scene uh, so i'm not able to see that what is that plant okay yeah yeah plant and uh, this is uh, a sign of my growth in those masters over the years and that's All how right, i fantastic it. fantastic All right, someone from uh, Division B. It need not be uh, uh, Division Directors because Division Directors uh, gets a lot of uh, they get a lot of limelight, right? So Area Director, somebody from Division uh, B. Hello, what happened to Division B? Hi, hey, Alex. Is it Rajesh? Ah, uh, yes. Louder, louder. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Just I grabbed this uh, book. Normally, we say use the journal for. Uh, journal for tracking my evaluations and all this uh, stuff and really uh, whenever uh, uh, whenever i feel a little bit down i always see the evaluations and in the next speech always this will be my starting point to move forward so this always i keep near by me when i am attending post masters meeting oh my god you uh, are you saying that the evaluation which you received in the club meetings you keep a track of it yeah yes exactly all right i used to do that then i lost it because uh, initially when we started evaluations were not so sandwich it were very cruel okay only sandwich was only first two lines then it was very cruel so i stopped taking a track but i think it's a good practice he deserves a big round of applause for that for sure 
All right. Somebody from Division C. I'm back. Where is the Division C director? I am not able to see. I'm back. Sorry, Rajan. So, yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. This is a tie. Next tie. Next tie. I know. Is it a shirt, sir? No, no. It is a neck tie. This is a. Is there a audio issue? Audio issue, or is it only? I am not able to hear. Tie, 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 tie. It's a tie. Okay, all right. Okay. So, how do you relate to the Toastmaster experience, sir? So, I will tell you. I know at least two Toastmasters who were encouraged by their wives to join Toastmasters because they like to see him tie and suit and all those things. Of course, go back ten, fifteen years. This was the symbol of Toastmasters. Uh, Tie and suit. Nowadays, of course, it becomes more fashion. Okay, thank you, sir, and a big round of applause to sir. Okay, and we will move to division uh, D. Quick. Hi, Alex. We come uh, yes. here. Yes. This is my family. So without them, I don't see any growth, and they played a vital role in my Toastmasters journey. Yes, especially a married, you need uh, vital support to have vital growth. All right, thanks, uh, Vikram. Hi. Thank you so much. A lovely family picture, and we'll move to uh, Division E. Division E, uh, Ani. Uh, yes, Ani. This this is one of my uh, contest awards. I have it very close to me. I have list. I mean, I kept everything in arrangement order. This is the contest is something that made me enter into Toastmasters Club. So that is very important to me. All right. Okay. Nice. We'll move to Division G. Sorry, F. Alex, this is Priya. Yes, Priya, yes, go ahead. Yes, so uh, this is a charger. I would say Toastmasters <laughs> is a platform where we charge ourselves to think positive, to support others. All right. Uh, otherwise, also for all online meetings, we need charges, right? <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> Thank you, Priya. And it's Division G. Who is from Division G? Go ahead. No, you are on mute. So for the next one year, ensure that you unmute and speak. I'm not able to hear him. Uh, is there a technical problem? Yes, uh, so probably move to uh, somebody else can speak. I think there's a technical issue. Uh, this is Balaji here. Yes, Balaji. So I found a screwdriver uh, next to me. So in Toastmaster, because of being a Toastmaster, uh, it helped me to remove the negativities from myself. So that's it. Oh my God. Uh, this is the biggest uh, testimony for Toastmasters, but I am not sure where you will put that screw back, which is removed. And it's, I'm not sure where you put it. <laughs> right. Thank you so much, Balaji and uh, Division H. Yeah, uh, probably I could just uh, show this particular mug. Can I see this mug? No. Uh -huh. Okay. This was given in the 100th meet of the Toastmasters Club, meeting our club. So okay. How do you relate to that experience, sir? Yeah, so it's like, uh, it's an empty mug. So every time you go to Toastmasters with an empty mind and uh, learn something and come out of it, enriched with more things. That's what I could relate to. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And uh, thankfully, we are on an online meeting. Otherwise, in the last one year, you would have a lot, received a lot of mugs and pins and uh, ribbons and so mm -hmm. many things. You would have received. Uh, it happened to me uh, because I'm a Toastmaster since 2008. One of the clubs ran out of uh, ribbons and uh, literally the president called me and asked me, can you lend me a few uh, ribbons? And I literally gave it and they didn't give, uh, give it back. That's a different story altogether. But in Toastmaster, we receive a lot of goodies. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for the participation. Uh, so let's energize ourselves for the next uh, 30, 35 minutes. Uh, I understand online meetings are not very exciting all the time. Uh, I will try my level best to keep it exciting. Right. Uh, so I would like to start uh, on a lightly different note to share that uh, what was my failure in the last uh, one year as a division director? Probably you would like to hear more of success stories and a lot of uh, members are here sharing success stories, but I would like to share 
a failure story, probably that could help you think differently, think through about your one next one year. All right. So overall, uh, the division was doing good. And uh, one thing we I suddenly realized after one month or two months is one of the areas or rather two areas were not doing fine. And we've been talking with the area directors and they were sharing a huge concern saying none of the areas and none of the clubs in their areas are active. Uh, they are not even meeting. Uh, right. Uh, so we tried contacting the club presidents and we tried a lot of things, but it was not happening. And I was asking myself, now, what is my role? Uh, in this, or so what I could have done, even though it was only one month or two months, what I could have done differently in the beginning of the year, so that things would have been different. Then I realized when the whole the realignment or a lot of proposal comes in the beginning, we don't take it very seriously, especially this last three days, right? 26, 27, 28, 29, you might be receiving a lot of inputs and we probably may not take it very, very seriously, right? I realized when the realignment happened, probably I would have checked uh, thoroughly and uh, check how the clubs were performing. Was it really a paper club? Many, many clubs in our district, unfortunately, are paper clubs. They are very good as a PPDC club or a select distinguished club. But in reality, when club meeting happens, some of the clubs are not at all meeting. And this is an unfortunate part. I realized that a, a leader, I, need to, I should have exercised a little more caution or attention for details would have made a huge uh, difference. So all my request today is uh, you have not stepped into the leadership role yet, uh, journey yet, but ensure as area directors or division directors, go back and check uh, with the clubs, right, which is already there. What is uh, happening inside the club? Very, very important. The candid, honest moments of truth, you probably could do it with yourself. That can make a difference. The reason why I want to share this is the number one uh, aspect, which all of you should be working whether it's a professional or the personal or Toastmasters is, is about environment. Unless we create an environment for people to perform, irrespective of the best, pro, best uh, teams you get, irrespective of the best platforms you get, most of the time uh, we have seen members don't perform. Whether it's in a team, as in a corporate or in Toastmasters, we need to create that environment to perform. That is one of the reasons why if you look in the football or in cricket, in the best uh, countries, right? The best, they always have the best batsman and best bowler because the environment, the talks in the dressing room, the talks uh, around are so powerful, so encouraging and so inspiring that can make a huge difference. Right, uh, that's the only GAN part. Then we'll get into uh, one quick question. What is the interesting or unique aspect of Toastmasters leadership compared to all other leadership journeys we have in Toastmasters? In Toastmasters, there is something unique about this Toastmaster leadership. What is that? I recommend uh, at least it's the area directors and division directors who are the part of the, this uh, session uh, kindly switch on the videos. Anyway, we'll have a workbook and a session going to happen. So I request you to uh, switch on the videos. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I moved out from the room. So. Yeah, I think everyone was put into breakout room suddenly. Yeah, Alex, sorry. There was a little uh, technical glitch. The breakout room was open. It's been closed. So I don't think anyone's there in the breakout rooms now. Okay. Sorry, All right. Okay. Okay. That was just to test you how many of you are awake. Uh, thanks, Arati, for that impromptu session. And thank you for saving my papa. All right. All right. All are you back? All of you are back? Yes. I think they are coming in. Yeah. 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 So uh, that's also a message from district next year, next one year, expect on the unexpected. <laughs> oh, we thought it was your way of keeping us awake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is for sure. Some of the trade secrets I won't uh, share. That is all like to be experienced. All right. So I was. Uh, we believe in making every day exciting. So <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. So I was asking, though, there's one unique feature of this Toastmasters leadership program. Uh, what is it all about? Again, uh, there's no right or wrong answer. Please feel free to share. Servant leadership. I feel it is a mutual learning. Mutual learning? Yeah, most leadership programs or leadership roles are mutual learning, right? Anything unique which you could think of. Here, you are working for the uplift from others. Ideally, leadership should be that only. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, we have lost essence of leadership <laughs> because of so many trainers and uh, speakers are in the market. <laughs> we got confused. We are not giving paid for. Sorry, uh, what is that, sir? We are not giving paid for. I'm sorry, I'm not able to hear. Uh, we are not getting paid for what we do. Ah, okay. Th thanks for thank you for the honest confession. We always had that feeling within ourselves. Uh, Kalyan will agree, and the Gayatri is also uh, smiling. Priya and Arna also thinking that oh, hope we get something out of Toastmasters, but definitely we'll get something out of Toastmasters intangible. But again, uh, any other thought process? So sometimes I'm like the school teacher. I have an answer, and if I get that answer only, I say yeah, you are a good student. You can fail and succeed later. Louder, little louder. You can fail and still succeed at a later time. So that's all right. Okay. Uh, all the answers are valid, no, no doubt about it. The only thing which I thought uh, could be different in a Toastmaster leadership experience is it comes with an expiry date. Right? June 30th next year, whether you have done something to change the world, you have something extraordinary, so many things you want to do, will do, wish to do, all these things. June 30th, tuck, you're out, right? And the area director probably will become the CGD or district director, and he will pass on his experience to you direct, differently, right? The club president probably can become the division director. So one interesting experience in Toastmasters is by June 30th next year, you are out. Whether you wanted to do something or you did something, it's immaterial. So when you work as a team in the next uh, one year, you please remember this. Uh, I've been uh, blessed with the uh, great area directors this term, uh, and two of them are there as a finance uh, man uh, administration manager and uh, division G director. Uh, so we always had something very interesting, and we always thought uh, that it is very important to think beyond June 30th. It is very important to think beyond June 30th. It is not about opening two clubs and closing three clubs and say you're a president distinguished and select distinguished. And what a club members matters, what matters for the club members is the real essence of Toastmasters. I've been a Toastmaster since 2008. At least till 2016, I've been hearing district to do number one club in the world, number one district in the world, number one district in the world, number one district in the world. And when you go to the club and ask members, how does it matter? They don't even know what is the number one club. But what matters to a club member is how is the experience in the club? How are they learning and growing? Right, so having said that, we will get into this presentation. Any idea what is the topic going to be? Oh, thank you. I see some of you are speaking, but kindly speak uh, with De developing uh, successful teams. Developing yeah, successful teams. Agenda. All right. Anything else? All right. So uh, this is the slide or the deck given by Toastmasters International. How much of a creative you are, you will not be able to add much to it because uh, Toastmasters International at times is a, a strict organization and we need to go by the rules. All right. So, but I try to make it interactive, interactive as much as possible. Session agenda in a nutshell is about your team members, your team agreement, team motivation, and conflict resolution in a team. I think we will be spending a lot of time uh, in team motivation and conflict resolution, right? And the uh, second most important thing is that we will have a kind of a segment in which you will work with your team and come up with a plan about your overall plan for the next one year. All right. So session objectives. Uh, we count the roles of area directors, division directors, identify members of area division council, ways to support the council, the, uh, team charter and benefits. But I think the most important aspect of this session would be this uh, few words which I highlighted, the trust, the motivation, and conflict resolution techniques. All right. So if you could all unmute yourself and uh, Make some noise, it will be great. Otherwise, I will also feel asleep in a few minutes. Some noise from Division A. Division A, are you there? Yes. yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. 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 All right. I'm sure, I'm sure Division B is going to do better. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. All the best. Idiot, Alex. All, all the best to me, right? Thank you so much. <laughs> all right, so that's it. So we'll come back to uh, other divisions a little later. All right, area director and area team. Uh, what is the composition of a good area team? I won't say good, as recommended by Toastmasters International. 
can somebody say especially those who are part of uh, oh yeah that's one thing i would like to take this moment to appreciate all the area directors this time i must say you guys have gone through a real grinding process it was not easy all right you all deserve a huge round of applause i was in the panel and uh, we i used to ask so many questions and i really uh, thank the most of the area directors they didn't ask, ask the same question back to me it is very easy to ask the questions right but if the same question been asked back to you the about the process procedures that we figured that uh, all the best and congratulations uh, you've been uh, selected after a huge process and trios have invested a lot of time in that so make sure that uh, you will show results in the next one year all right so how does an area team look like it will be the area director assistant area director if necessary the excom of individual clubs ah okay anybody else any, any idea it's not an information which i have it is there with uh, in the toastmaster international website area director club growth area director pqd area director secretary and uh -huh. presidents and vps of the club brilliant brilliant i think it was almost there uh, what ex only one simple point was missing which is club begins what is that president of membership club building team right so it's an area director and area secretary this is what toastmasters recommended and also the toastmasters of, uh, usually uses this word uh, which i like the most uh, unless impractical okay now if they carefully uses the word unless impractical follow this uh, structure right now comes to the division uh, his handsome division director i'm not sure who is right what is a division direction uh, team composition some of their division directors can try division c director assistant division director club growth assistant division director program quality area uh -huh. director and the division director uh who was that i, I could not hear much sorry and that was uh, vidya okay vidya thank you uh, can you just uh, speak a little louder Uh, assistant division director program quality assistant division director club growth and area directors uh, along with the division director will form the division council right thank you uh, so is there any other team which uh, you might have seen in the past working along with the area directors and division directors standard team ha uh, who are the key extended team players pr 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 ha uh, pr anybody else admin manager all right so those are the, those are uh, as required or uh, if there is a need in within your uh, division we can always add that uh, so it's again the size of the division number of clubs and a lot of other factors but you can add it this is the structure given by toastmasters international as you might have seen the uh, current year uh, pravin mani and uh, uh, satish are always insisting on following procedures protocols uh, the reason is that once we are uh, thinking and doing something very uniform the results and overall understanding of the toastmaster and toastmaster experience would improve drastically that's it all right so uh, this is the uh, what what is it called in other words what do you call this organization structure council uh, yeah uh, in toastmaster uh, language council division council division council division council all right uh, so this is one question which is asked to all the area directors throughout uh, what forms a district council division council so very simple thing uh, the vp till the district uh, trio form the division council which are recommend which is uh, official toastmaster roles all will be part of the division council all right now your team uh team composition we actually discussed now we'll get into a uh, little more details about values okay it is very important whether you are an area director or a division director we need to look at uh, certain values when i say values uh, don't uh, mistake with the moral values which we have always been uh, 
referring and uh, other values values is a much more a bigger term what's your understanding about values values is a basic of a human culture human life the basic of human structure all right okay uh, anybody else could share something what do you mean by values so what are values what defines who you are sorry what is it it principles which defines who you are it defines who you are okay so how do we do, how how does this toastmaster international and organization like how do we define ourselves and that's why we have values what are the core values of toastmasters international in the right order integrity respect service and excellence right uh, so toastmasters international or a uh, few presidents in the past have insisted that its integrity comes first and then respect uh, that's the excellence and so that's the order uh, not the rice respect integrity service and excellence is the order so thank you for that so as a team when you work uh, ensure that there is a value of composition also in the team uh, so it is not only toastmaster values you can add fun as a value right i ensure my team works in an interesting and energetic manner in a friendly environment that is a value so values could be a lot uh, uh, inspiration could be a value uh, learning could be a value uh, growing together is a value mutually supportive is a value so ensure when we do that uh, exercise in the next uh, few minutes after some time you as a you as a team need to think together and say what are the values and you need to display consistently that values right energy and enthusiasm could be a value all right being observant could be a value that could be something which we should be thinking deep and uh, adding to the uh, work book in the in the few minutes right right now comes the most important thing team operating principles it sounds very complicated but it's not as complicated as it looks uh, what could be a communication strategy between the club and the area director as per your experience what is the existing strategy or how it works email uh, whatsapp whatsapp yeah. work best i'm sorry whatsapp groups uh, work best as a communication i mean um uh, for fast faster communication ha ah, okay you say faster communication what's a group fine uh, but i want you to look a little more uh, deeply into the word strategy so, here uh, the, uh, just go to the kind of uh, communication strategy <laughs> and be more democratic and hear to hear to the people like make a president as a single point of contact and discuss with him about the club not to bypass correct so that that is a part of a communi- good communication strategy always there are some people very excited about everything and uh, they don't respect the hierarchical order they get into straight away into tosmas the international and they write things when they don't discuss with the club president vice president education or even vice president membership uh, so ensure that the communication strategy is being communicated with area directors with the club uh, division directors with the uh, area it is very important for example uh, what could be communication strategy for a moments of truth from an area area director's point of view it is like a minimum expectation of having a 3 out of 5 in all the uh, different uh, things that we have within a mode uh, that, that's definitely not your uh, means after an output you probably get a 3 out of 5 uh, or 5 out of 5 but what could be the communication strategy you need to have uh, before or after the area director's uh, visit or for the moment yeah, to so to understand the club better and to see like the areas of improvement and what they are doing better so that if we go there if we give a constructive feedback they can follow up on and we can also follow up in the next ad visit is what i feel so right uh, you are there you are uh, explaining the process but somebody yeah. else could uh, maybe the division directors can try uh, what could be a strategy to be followed it's a very simple thing it's not very complicated like the strategy will be simple calling the president on vp in a conference call and telling about the understanding of the club from an area director point of view 
and also asking their feedback so what are they going to do on those points it will be a simple strategy brilliant brilliant uh, i'm sorry i couldn't uh, uh, find who was speaking yeah vidurath from all right thank you so much i think yeah exactly so when it's a strategy for example you are going for a moments of truth you speak to the club president the vice president education hey i'm planning to do this on so and so date you send an email confirming this right club writes back ideally should write back and say yes confirmed and you are uh, the, it is in the agenda and then you perform the activity which you're supposed to do and then you complete it and then you inform uh, the president or the vice president education this forms part of the strategy which i'm referring about and once we follow that if you look at the district last year what almost uh, in consistently in line with the communication strategy of informing the members in advance about the meeting sending the agenda sending the minutes of the meeting and having a consistent uh, review practices these are a part of communication strategy so as area directors you need to be very clear uh, how often you are going to meet the club president it's not uh, again it is about a friendly relationship while we maintain our friendly relationship it is important to have the decorum intact Uh, being a, being a very uh, thorough professional there, uh, so send, uh, respecting time, it is very important. That is the that is the reason why we need to have this communication strategy. Attending milestone meeting may not be uh, area directors' priority, but the communication strategy also could say that if you have a milestone meeting, kindly inform me in advance. There are many times in the past or now also we get uh, invitation just one day before. and that that may that may work or may not work but ensure your communication strategy between your clubs and your areas and with the members are in the right order and you uh, give enough time for that goal setting what could be one goal of a area director one goal to have a continuous effective meeting aha uh -huh. okay dcp5 dcp5 okay all right yeah sustain all clubs ha uh, sustain all clubs okay make them attend all the otps make them attend all the otps okay the, all the persons right so a very simple thing you can do is the area directors handbook is there uh, it's almost similar to whatever you mentioned uh, but i recommend you to just go through that the reason why is that there are Uh, Toastmasters International is carefully worded after a lot of deliberation and discussions. They have come up with something very interesting, very simple as well. But sometimes, out of our over enthusiasm, that uh, uh, people do a lot of things which is uh, not required. For example, clubs achieving golden gavel. Whose responsibility is this? Individual members, individual club. individual clubs or the club excom to a large extent right i have seen uh, unfortunately that uh, area directors pushing the clubs to be golden gavel now what happens in the process is the learning process by the club they they, are, they may not find it that it is their need they will find it as this area directors need so area directors uh, is as the name says it's a direction it gives guidance right so ensure that uh, you don't go beyond uh, the role set by Toastmasters International stay within that you motivate when people come to you uh, inspire give guidance everything but understand your goal what is that you need to do all right so do's and don'ts any one do's and don'ts which you have seen in the last few days or few more years as to toastmasters uh, what what is that what are the area directors do should do visit the club regularly ah visit club regularly all right then how many times in a month it should be ideally at least once in every month at least once in a month ideally right first three months it all will be like that once in a month yes i am going to transform these clubs uh, then comes uh, priorities personal priorities that's why the word consistency uh, is very very important if you can be consistent from uh, july till the may i think the um, june uh, next uh, june 30th i think that can make a huge difference than having a lots of ups and downs all right uh, some don'ts by area directors or division directors do not run behind numbers do not do not run behind numbers it is a recorded meeting uh, who has said that <laughs> okay sometimes uh, okay uh, quality comes uh, we need to have numbers also um, but yeah uh, is it in line with uh, 
the overall expectation, overall Toastmaster experience. This year, uh, Pelvin and Sadish and the driver was very, very clear. We want, we will push, we will extend support, but we will not run behind numbers. And there's a huge difference. And uh, I'm sure the clubs were not pressurized. There were instances in the past uh, from uh, three months, last three months, April, May, June, we had some 30, 40 clubs open, right? And after six months, what happened to the club? Nobody knows. After one year, most of the clubs will be in a six status. Uh, so ensure that uh, whatever we are doing, it has the quality and the quantity has to be have an equi equilibrium. All right. All right. Potential obstacles, area directors and uh, division directors. What could be the potential obstacles next one year? Since not, it is, able uh, to reach, not able to reach club officers. Not able to reach club officers. A very genuine uh, problem, right? Uh, by the way, a timer, how much uh, the time uh, it's already over? Just want to ensure that I'm the same already, page. Uh, Just want to ensure that I'm the same page. Uh, 20 minutes is gone. 20 more minutes I have. Do you uh, right now? You have 25 minutes. Okay, okay. Can you uh, uh, type in the chat box? That would be enough. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, not able to meet the uh, club presidents or XCOM is one of the challenges uh, mentioned, right? And uh, what could be a potential uh, no way of overcoming that? How can we overcome that? Building very good rapport with them. Okay, brilliant. Okay, and what else it could be? Having an in-person relationship to understand uh, what they are, to understand from their shoes. All right, but uh, the, uh, the concern which I have also experienced, my area directors have experienced, the past also in many clubs have experienced, they don't respond, they don't care. Turn up for the club meetings. Uh, go and attend the club meeting. Yeah, that is one uh, brilliant way of doing it. And like somebody said, I think the most important element, most important aspect which you're going to learn in this Toastmaster next one year is about a trust. It is about rapport. It is about influence. And if you can gain a good uh, experience in these segments, right, I'm sure that there will be a lot of uh, takeaways in the next uh, one year. Right. We will move on to the meeting protocol. When you meet uh, your team, Area directors, club president, division directors. What are the what could be some of the meeting protocols we need to follow? An agenda is must. Ah, uh, meeting agenda, brilliant. Okay. Okay. What next? Action items from the previous meeting. Uh huh. Minutes of Minutes meeting. Minutes of meeting. Minutes of the meeting. Right. And yeah, attendees, very uh, important. And uh, also ensure the timing, right? Uh, all the review meetings say one hour it is. We need to respect the time. We have other professional and personal commitments. Ensure that when you're uh, saying it's seven to eight, we need to ensure that meeting ends by uh, eight o'clock. Maybe here, five minutes here and there probably, but try ensure that meeting protocol is very, very important. Overall, when we follow this, what happens is the overall professional commitment and the professionalism towards what we are doing will improve a lot. All right. Now, team motivation, this is uh, something which uh, I like to discuss a little bit. What is your understanding about team motivation? In layman's language, what is motivation? Something which keeps you to move forward and grow. Uh -huh. Very important. Very correct. Absolutely. Uh, so one question, probably all of you division directors can ask area directors and area directors could ask all the club president is this one question, why are you in Toastmasters? What's your motivation, right? Some of us are in Toastmasters, like Kalyan Slayer slide, right? Uh, 10 years, 15 years, 13 years, 20 years, right? And somebody from 1984, right? What's the motiv motivation? So the more you understand that motivation factor, right? You will be able to guide and help, right? Most of the district leaders, what do you think is their motivation? especially the trio. And they are going to invest a lot of time in the next uh, one year, right? What do, what do you think is their motivation? Learning. All right, learning. Could be. What else What else you could think? The journey. The journey. Giving, the giving back to the society. A lot of things, right? So it is important that we need to understand each person's motivation. We need to discuss, uh, talk to the person. Why are you in Toastmasters? And how are we going to help each other in this value which we already discussed 
uh, clarifying expectation uh, when you talk about uh, team motivation. Uh, club president uh, need to understand. In the, some of the area directors interview, which we are noticed uh, is uh, area directors have clearly mentioned opening a new club straight away. That one of the clear goals they have mentioned is opening a new club. While it is important that uh, important that opening new clubs, there are other responsibilities which we need to fulfill. Area directors visit, having a good rapport with the club, uh, grooming leaders from the club, right? Having a good understanding of how a club works. All these things are part of your expectation, right? So ensure you understand your expectation of your team members, if whether it's area director or club members, that can make a huge difference. Recognizing your team, uh, that's the final thing. And I would say you can say rewards and recognition, right? How do you recognize a club president? In the larger forum with certificates and medals and a word of appreciation from a senior Toastmaster himself, inviting a senior Toastmaster. Right. I, uh, so one of the most uh, unused way of recognition, rather, uh, which people think is a lesser value, is the power of words. Right. The uh, when somebody is doing a good job, it can be through email or it can be through uh, oral communication. We can actually express that, and that can make a huge difference to the member motivation. All right, so ensure at a consistent way in a milestone meeting. It is about just having your name, all right? Your name is called Alex Jacob or uh, uh, whoever it is. Your name is called by multiple times, right? You feel good. And that's the one better test way. Otherwise, we, are, we know that Toastmasters International by uh, design has a lot of recognition and value. But recognizing your team uh, is very, very important. It could be in an area meet, recognizing the club president, in a division meet, recognizing the uh, area directors, club president, all very, very important. Ensure that you do that on a regular basis. Somebody achieves something remarkable, ensure that we recognize that. All right. Leading by example, that's uh, something which we all know. All right. Conflict resolution. Okay, I want the, one of the uh, division directors to give one practical or one conflict you have faced in the past, in the club or in the area. Who could uh, share something? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Oh, okay, and in case even the division directors uh, there are too much of conflicts, uh, I'm sure you will have in the next one year. Anybody else could share some conflict, some ideas? This is Srini from uh, Division E, uh -huh. director for E2. It's one experience where, in terms of decision making, where it's it was a pivotal situation for us to take a decision as a team, but there were conflicts. Everyone had different kind of ideas, and some one person wanted to be more authoritative, another person was most, most democratic and inclusive. So, end of the day, it is important to look at the common goal, what a club wants to achieve. So that was not in the picture. Certain things were taken personally. So to understand and resolve that conflict, it's important to look at the goal which you want to achieve. It's not about the person, it's about the process and the importance what they give to the club members. So it, it took a time initially when the club was uh, incepted and now we are in a good space. So those kind of conflicts has to be taken privately, not a larger forum. We're not hurting people here. We're not hurting the sentiments as such. It's important to uh, look at a larger picture and then take it forward. All right. Uh, okay. So I was expecting um, any practical cases of conflict and uh, how a resolution had come. Uh, that's what I was expecting. Yes, uh, Alex, I have a conflict. It is a common one that we facing uh -huh. uh, during uh, the, the meeting could be uh, regular during weekends or weekdays. So Correct. some of the uh, members are not uh, convenient uh, time during the fine time, convenient time during weekends. So they wanted uh, to have the meeting during weekdays. So that will be the common conflict uh, could be found like this. Right. So, so that can be this. When you have a conflict like so, this, right, uh, which is uh, uh, applicable to the entire club, uh, right? So as an area director or a division director, what is what would be a communication strategy? We can uh, discuss it with every individual or we can send some Google forms to 
make record of the choices of each other. Correct. But what would be your role? What role? What role would you be playing? Uh, the expected role would be. No, no, this. no. I'm asking, what would be your role? Will you be? Are you a club president? Are you talking as a club president, area director, division director, trio? What is what is your role here? VPM. Ah, okay. Vice president membership of a club. All right. So, what will you do? We can take this uh, to our club uh, president, and then the club growth uh, directors as well. All right. See so if it, if it is needed. Otherwise, uh, very simple thing, especially from a Toastmasters International uh, Forum. We need to base everything, all arguments, all conflicts, which is based to the simple values of Toastmasters of integrity, respect, service, and excellence. All right. And if we can uh, solve most of the issues through this some simple value structure, it will be excellent. However, there are certain cases in which I personally had gone through. Uh, a different experience with one of the clubs uh, where the area director tried to meet uh, the club they don't allow and they tried to send a message email no response uh, whatsoever right so at that is a time where the experience or expert i should come right i realized that probably it's the right time we escalate to the trios and tell this is what is happening and what's the uh, right here and trios also said if uh, you both as an area director and division director can't do much about it probably we also cannot do it uh, so it is not that they have a magic wand and they can do it. So, but overall, uh, the community, the values of Toastmasters International uh, has to be one of the ways which we look at uh, res resolving issues. Uh, but that's a common ground. Then it could be expertise, communication, experience, all come we can come into play. Right. Talking. I would just want to add one point here. Yes, Adish. Yeah. Since you are on this topic, uh, all of us should realize that. Any issues with the club or members has to be resolved by the club and its members. We cannot involve the area, the division, or the district into it. Okay? So clubs cannot come and tell a district officer that please resolve this issue for us. Okay? If you read the TI protocol, TI also says very clearly that district officers are not allowed to be interfering in club affairs. So if two members in a club have an issue or if there is some issue with the club, the club and its members need to kind of get involved. The district gets involved only if TI tells us to do it. If it goes below the hands, the club's right to the uh, Toastmasters International, then Toastmasters International at times may tell the district director to appoint a committee to look into what's happened at the club or a specific issue and then submit a report back to TI. So whereas some people think that it is very easy to call up the trio and tell the trio to come and get involved, and some have this rush of adrenaline to also jump into it. Let's tell that as an area director, division director, or above, none of us can get involved into club affairs. So just wanted to make that very clear. So back to you, Alex. Yeah, uh, thank you, Satish, uh, for that. Responsibility and agree to resolve issues. Looks like we lost the legs. We'll wait for a few minutes, please. I'm sorry, I wasn't this. Alex, we have a little trouble uh, hearing you clearly. Uh, now I'm on my phone. Uh, is it okay now? Much better. Thank you.
Are you able to hear me, see me? Your voice is kind of breaking up. I think uh, there is a technique filling the workbook. So we can see you in two devices. Can you please try connecting from the other device? Hello, can you hear me now? You may want to mute one of the devices, Alex. All right, so are you able to hear me now? Yes, yes we can. Are you able to hear me now? Yeah, we can see it's you and we can hear you now, sir. Would you like to start your screen uh, sharing again? I was again? requesting. Uh, we can move uh, the participants to the breakout room. I'm not sure. I am able to see all of you, but I don't know what is the technical issue. We can move all the participants, especially. Question. I have a quick question. I'm the one recording the session. So if I move this breakout room, how do we have this uh, recording? Sorry. I'm also not very sure about it. I think the problem is she's asking, uh, since she is the one recording in her local system, she's right now in the breakout room. What would happen to the recording in the breakout room? No, I could see that uh, there's a symbol that says recording. So I guess the breakout room is also getting recorded. Only our breakout room gets recorded, right? We don't get to record the others. No, I guess it's only our breakout room. We are just ping if uh, Toastmaster Ganesh is there in the breakout room. You can ask him to do a recording if possible. Provide him the access and ask him to record properly. All uh, been split according to their divisions, and all the PQD team is in one group, the CGD team is in the other group. Just have a quick word with Aarti if they need this recording. Probably it's a breakout activity, right? They may not even need it. That might uh, simplify things. Hey, Raman, you sounded too serious today than the D1, D120 conference. Even now, you look very serious. Uh, nothing like that. It's just my face is like that. Okay, now it looks much better. I do consciously try to smile, but I can't when I present. <laughs> happens all the time. So, is it only three of us in this room or are we expecting more people to join? I have no clue. I was just, I was just forced into this room. Hi, <laughs> all. Please download the workbook from your emails and complete it. This is the usual one. They will do the area success plan, division success plan, where they like write about more like a SWOT analysis. They have some predefined templates from TI. We did their last class. I don't see any mail. Where? Which ID will we get the mail? Do you want a copy of it? I think they are sent only to the corresponding participants. This is for the area directors and division directors. Like I can ping you the link. It's a Toastmasters is all open source, right? Anybody can access any information, but many don't realize it. 
helping you on whatsapp how do i implement all these Perhaps you I can probably uh, someone from the main room can broadcast it. Maybe I'll leave this breakout room. Let's see if I can. I don't want to see our faces. It's fine. Like that. Like, let's just see. So the big meeting team. We have three people. Team B. We have one. Main room is closed. Is it? I have option to leave the room. I can try. Wait there. Wait there. Wait there. Wait there. Just a minute, Manju. Uh, Toastmaster Arthi, the workbook will be in the resources, and if so, can you tell me exactly what it is named? Uh, you just have to check your mail that you received last night, Nadira. I had mailed all the division directors and the area directors the workbook. Anyways, I'm sharing it in the WhatsApp group. Give me a minute. Yeah, because there are quite a few, <laughs> lots of materials which are present, and to be honest, it's not I would exactly. Have I would have shared a separate workbook last night at about seven thirty or so. The other one was a drive that I shared. Okay, I've anyway shared it once again in the WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Arthi, I think. Uh, yes, Felix. Felix. One second. I think uh, if they spend a little more time, it would be good, right? Because it's a lunch break. I think it's okay. Uh, we need not push it as twelve uh, forty, right? Or what do you feel? Yeah, because. Uh, they Close it at twelve forty-five and another five minute for wrap up. Ha! Yeah, 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 that's fine. So again, uh, yeah. Because unless and until they do that, that is the most important uh, element of this whole session, right? Absolutely. We'll give them time till twelve forty-five, and then we'll close the breakout rooms. And then, if you could come up, also they have another networking session in the evening uh, after the entire day is kind of done with. Probably they could continue it over there also. Yes, yes, uh, yeah. I think I will also mention that uh, this is one thing which they need to do sit together. If it was a real time session, probably after the session we would have all sat together and we would have completed this. So these are times when you miss the real time in person session all the time. I have moved out of the breakout room because I am recording the session and I am staying back in the main room. 
no problem so why did you come back to the main room why did you? my the cheap timer so master Our MC is from which club? I'm from Tinnel Valley Toastmasters Club. Ah, all right. Okay. Much is the time allotted uh, for lunch break? Here one hour. Idea was funny. Particular questions and no worries. An area director from B2 who's just joined. Can you please add him to the breakout room? Can the can the Zoom master just inform them uh, the time is until twelve forty five? Then I'll have a wrap up uh, of the session. So they'll be in the breakout rooms until twelve forty five, and you need five minutes to wrap the session. Wrap the session. Divya is from which uh, club? Computer Grade Toastmasters. And who is Logeshwar uh, Kabchula Arpi? He is from Verizon. Not too sure of the role he is playing right now. All right. Maybe a backup for some. Uh, Arthi, would you, do you think it's okay? Uh, we say that uh, okay, we started. Probably they need a little more time to discuss and debate, and uh, probably send that uh, field version to the trio and to me by Wednesday. I think that would be a good idea. Now asking them to fill it and send it to us will definitely make them go through it in a more leisurely fashion later on. We could definitely do that. So in the wrapping up uh, stage, I will mention that. Or, uh, you know what, ask them to send it to me. I'll put it in a drive and share it to Satish, yourself, and Gayatri. 
otherwise all our field boxes will be filled in yeah yeah perfect Hey, Praveen, hi. Hi, Alex. Hi, I was on a call. Yeah, sorry. Aarti, was I sent to a breakout room? We didn't know which room we should send you to, so we have not. <laughs> room that I could be, so totally. <laughs> All right, I think all of you are here. Most of you are here. 78 number, that's good. All right, so quick question. Any team has completed it? I'm sure, I'm sure there will be high performance in Toastmasters. All right, okay, our expectation also is not to complete it, but to start, all right. Uh, so this is like a more of a warm-up activity before any major activity. Right, so I'm sure some of you have at least got the PDF file now. Partly, Alex. Mark in the event. Uh, so I was discussing with Arti. The expectation is that area directors and division directors kindly fill it and send to Arti by Wednesday. Is that okay? Right, so how much of a uh, idea is going to share? by the international president or club president or whoever it is unless we practice it uh, a little bit here and there uh, it's not going to be visible and seen uh, i want some of you to share as we wrap up uh, what is the one learning you had uh, from the session i'm sure you had a lot of interesting takeaways but personally what do you think one takeaway uh, knowing our limitation and role is most important Okay. Uh, it's a random topic, random thing you can share. The it, first step as an area director, division director is you should speak more. So I see a lot of silence unless you don't speak out. Connecting to the clubs will be a challenge. Right. Yes, sir. So you need not uh, wait for any approval. Joe, go ahead. Uh, okay, yeah. just unmute and speak. Okay. Yeah. My my takeaway is uh, what uh, Satish said. The club affairs can be best handled by the club. Uh, that is a very crystal clear uh, message, and that is my takeaway from this session. Brilliant. All right. Two or three more. Uh, takeaways yeah, the is not the doers. And we are facilitators, not right. the doers. We we'll facilitate whatever that you want to do. Okay, sounds like on Robin Sharma's quote. Anyway, good. A communication Go strategy. Ah, yeah. They should have strategy, a, stra right. a strategy to communicate. Yes. All right. Okay. One last one. Creating environment to perform. Creating an environment in which members can perform. All right. Uh, so that's it from my side. As I mentioned, 
uh, don't look at June 30th. Uh, though you have an expiry date to set at June 30th, try doing things beyond a uh, June 30th date. I think that will actually lead to more sustainable clubs and members are really, really happy. So whatever little we could share in this 30 minutes and exercise you did is a starting point. Ensure that you fill it and complete it and send to RT. RT will be sending it to me. So area directors have to fill it for the area, area and for division directors for the division. Thank you so much. Uh, I always believe Toastmaster experience and learning always is going to continue in different forms. Thank you, uh, PQD team and uh, Trio for giving this opportunity. I wish you all the best and the area directors, you guys are remarkable for sure. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster.